Hello and welcome to Respiratory Puzzle Case 2. Let's take a look at our next puzzling case and see if we can come up with the correct answer. In the early stages of ARDS, your patient may exhibit which of the following blood gas results? So our first one, we have a pH of 7.38, a CO2 of 55, a PO2 of 82. In the second one, we have a pH of 7.32, a CO2 of 50, and a PO2 of 62. In the third one, we have a pH of 7.50, a CO2 of 25, and a PO2 of 52. In the fourth one, we have a pH of 7.48, CO2 of 55, and a PO2 of 42. Let's take a moment and consider these results and consider which one may be showing us about the early stages of ARDS. If you picked C, you would be correct. pH is 7.50, CO2 of 25, and a PO2 of 52. Why? Well, let's talk a little bit about that. ARDS is the result of having an insult to the lung. So we have some kind of damage, some kind of insult that has occurred to the lung, which then causes an overwhelming, out-of-control inflammatory response, a co collection of inflammatory debris, which is then causing problems with gas exchange, and then secondary damage occurs to the lung as a result of this inflammation. So over to the right, we have a picture of an alveolus and a blood vessel there, and we see the diffusion of both oxygen and CO2. Now, one thing we should know that is especially pertinent when we're thinking about that blood gas is CO2 diffuses much better than oxygen. So when we look at that blood gas, the first thing we're going to see change as we start to get edema formation in that alveolar capillary membrane, we're going to see a drop in O2 first, followed by a drop, or I should say an increase, in our CO2 later on. So gas exchange during ARDS, again, CO2 diffuses better than oxygen. Now what's happening here in the early stages is we're starting to get some fluid accumulation in there and some damage occurring to this alveolar capillary membrane as illustrated by that yellow-orange squiggly line. So we're starting to get some problems there. Well, that's exactly where we're having the diffusion of gases. So we're going to start to have some difficulty with the diffusion of gases. As the damage to the alveoli occurs, oxygen starts to decrease. Now the patient is going to respond to that decrease in oxygen by increasing the respiratory rate, which in turn will blow off more CO2 because CO2 is still diffusing. It can diffuse better than oxygen. And so we blow off the CO2. The result is going to be respiratory alkalosis with hypoxemia. That's exactly what we had in our blood gas, respiratory alkalosis with hypoxemia. In the later stages of ARDS, now we're having damage not only to that alveolar capillary membrane, but also we're starting to have fluid fill the alveolus and damage is occurring to the alveolus itself. Then we will see a decrease in oxygen and a buildup of CO2 as both gases are no longer able to move across that alveolar capillary membrane. At that point in time, we will see the respiratory acidosis with hypoxemia. Respiratory acidosis with hypoxemia because now the CO2 is building up, causing the acidosis, and we're continuing with our hypoxemia. So the early stages or the early signs of ARDS include subjective dyspnea with an increase in respiratory rate. So we do need to be concerned. We need to be watching for this. This is very subtle. Your patient tells you, I feel like I can't catch my breath. And the respiratory rate's like 24. 
x-ray. Who cares, right? Their lungs may even sound clear at that point. But that could be an early sign. So if this patient has risk factors for ARDS, we need to be concerned and start looking for that respiratory alkalosis. Now, if we're not taking a blood gas, we can still be looking for this by that slowly, steadily increase in respiratory rate that's associated with subject subjective dyspnea. Eventually, we're going to get some hypoxemia occurring, arousal in the bases. Those are all going to be some early signs that our patient is developing ARDS. If we have the blood gas, then of course we're going to see what we saw there in our case. Well, thank you for joining me for Respiratory Puzzle Case Number Two. My name is David Woodruff. Until next time, bye now.